Welcome everyone. The question that is displayed on the screen it is said that to find the volume of the parallel fiber or the cuboid whose edges are basically given by the three vectors a vector, b vector, and c vector here. a vector is 2i cap minus 3j cap plus 4k cap, b vector is i cap plus 2j cap minus k cap, and c vector is 3i cap minus j cap plus 2k cap. So these three vectors are given here. What is parallel pipe texture? Parallel pipe is a nothing but a cuboid. It have six faces, okay, twelve sides, and it is somehow we can see it is looking like this, okay. So let me draw first. Okay, this is the thing. So here, basically, these sides are basically representing the these three vectors, and if I say this is the a vector, and this one is the b vector and that one will be the c vector here obviously uh, if you want to find it at the volume of something you basically denote calculate the what is the base area and uh, after that you just multiply the height of it so here if i calculate the a cross b then this is basically gives the area of this shaded portion and obviously and you know that the, uh, the directions of the area is perpendicular to that of the is surface and uh, so here it is also along the normal we can say that is parallel to c vector or on the c vector uh, so now uh, if i just making the dot product of these two because area is a vector quantity but volume is a scalar quantity so if i do the dot product between the area and the uh, our height vector then we can get the volume so you can write down that the volume is equal to the surface area okay volume is a scalar surface area is a vector quantity and this is multiplied by the height that is also a vector quantity so we have to do the dot product between these two so surface area is a cross b here dot c here okay that is the height so a cross b dot c is basically nothing but giving us the volume of the cuboid here okay so we basically know several geometrical bodies among them one of the popular one we can see the uh, our uh, rectangular right sorry right circular cylinder in case of the right circular cylinder we basically uh, say this is uh, looking like this and uh, this is the base area which is we can see the pi r square and uh, r is the radius obviously and h is the height of the right circular cone then in that particular case if we multiply pi r square into h we get the volume of the right circular cone similarly if we find it out anything then we have to multiply the base area with the height very simplistic for the simple geometrical bodies we will do that out here you have to calculate the a cross b dot h what it mathematically says it is basically the box product okay box product we can say the triple product we can say how to find it out uh, let us try to understand it first and for that purpose uh, I am writing down here separately that is the A cross B within the bracket and dot C so we have to find it A cross B first so what is A let us assume A vector is A1 I cap plus A2 J cap plus A3 K cap and the v vector also we can assume similarly that is the v vector equal to b1 i cap plus b2 j cap plus b3 k cap now if i replace this in the a cross b okay then what will happen then we have to write it down as a determinant form i cap j cap and k cap we write it down the x component y component and z component of the a vector and v vector just below this writing down the x component of a y component of a and after that the z component of a and after that we are writing the x component of b y component of b and the z component of b so this is a determinant how you find it out very simply i cap minus j cap plus k cap but i cap i eat a2 b3 minus b3 a2 after that minus j cap okay so minus j cap a1 v3 a1 v3 minus 
b1 a3 minus b1 a3 plus k cap k cap into a1 b2 minus b1 a2 so a1 b2 minus b1 a2 so now if i uh, do the a cross b dot c then what will happen let me write a cross b within bracket dot c so uh, this will become just simply the what the dot product is multiplying i cap with i cap j cap with j cap and k cap with k cap so at first we will write it down that multiplication of the c1 vector c2 vector c2 vector will assume similarly and if i multiply the a cross b with c then it will become c1 a2 b3 minus a3 b2 okay just simply the dot product so c1 multiplied by a2 b3 minus a3 b2 plus sorry minus here c2 multiplied by a1 b3 minus b1 a3 plus here plus uh, c3 a1 b2 sorry uh, a1 b2 we have to write a1 b2 minus b1 a2 so obviously it is a scalar quantity and it basically represents the volume of it okay and we can write it down in determinant form like this way c1 c2 c3 a1 a2 a3 b1 b2 b3 now we know the from the mathematics that if we change the positions of the rows or columns or interchanges it it basically does not affect what is the result in the uh, what is the final result of determinant so i am writing down a1 first a2 then after that a3 a vector first then b vector b1 b2 b3 and after that c1 c2 and c3 so this is the determinant which is basically uh, gives the result of the volume of the uh, volume of the your this determinant which basically gives us uh, basically the volume of the cuboid so let us return back to the previous slide so now i am uh, writing down the determinant and writing down the x component of a first two after that the y component of a after that the z component of a after that the x component of b uh, after that the y component of b okay that is the plus two here and after that we will write down the minus one which is the z component of b after that the x component of c y component of c and z component of c now we will again do this so it will be two multiplied by two into two is four minus one to minus one is plus one uh, so it will become four minus one minus minus of minus minus three obviously it will become plus three after that one into two multiplied by uh, uh, sorry subtracted by three into minus one three into minus one minus three so it become two plus three after this plus four uh, it will become one into minus one is minus one and uh, three into two is six so minus one minus six so this will become two multiplied by three two multiplied by three this is six minus three minus three is plus three and after that two plus three is five so it will become three into five is plus fifteen and four into minus seven that becomes minus twenty eight now fifteen plus six is twenty one and uh, that is minus twenty eight so twenty one minus twenty eight is minus seven since the uh, here uh, if we take the what is the value of the volume that is the plus seven obviously minus sign we can discredit it uh, thank you all of you